Hello again. Here we are discussing about the development of tooth. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and also like, comment and share. Here is the developmental stages. These are initiation, bud stage, cap stage and bell stage. Bell stage is again divided into early bell stage and advanced bell stage. Now here is a diagrammatic view of the stages. The first is initiation where how the primary epithelial band forms and how the placards formation occurs. The bird stage, cap stage, early bell stage and advanced bell stage. In my previous videos we have already seen how the dental lamina forms. So now we'll proceed with the bird stage. It's the first Epithelial incursion into the ectomazon kind. There is little change in shape and function. As soon as the development of tooth germ is initiated, the cells continue to grow and proliferate and they grow in a bud shape. And this is enamel organ and it will give rise to enamel and that's why it is called so. Now this is ectomazon chymal condensation. Now how this forms? This is because of the increased mitotic activity and the migration of the neural crest cells into this area, the ectomesenchymal cells surrounding the tooth bud, they condense and are closely packed. So the area of the ectomesenchymal condensation just around the enamel organ are called as dental papilla which are the primordium for the dentine and bulb and the condensed ectomesenchyme that surrounds the dental papilla are called as the dental follicle or the dental sac which is the primordium for the cementum, periodontal ligament and the alveolar bone. Now let's take a greater picture of the enamel organ. What are the cells and how are they arranged? There is polygonal cells in the center and in the periphery there are low columnar cells. So this was the enamel organ and birth stage. Now during the 11th to 12 week of pregnancy the tooth bud continues to proliferate and it's not uniform. The ectomazon camel cells push the enamel organ inward leading to the cap stage. It resembles the cap sitting on a ball of the ectomesenchymal condensation. So here the cellular phenotype also changes. This is the inner enamel epithelium and the outer enamel epithelium. And this is the stellate reticulum cells. And this is the dental papilla. And there is dental sac. And the enamel organ is divided from the dental papilla and dental sac by the basement membrane. Now what is changed from the bird stage to cap stage? The first thing is the polygonal cells they are changed into the stellate reticulum cells. But how? Because the enamel organ contains glycosaminoglycans in the ground substance which is hydrophilic and they pull the water from the ectomesenchymal tissues into the enamel organ. So water moves into the intercellular spaces in the enamel organ and they kind of stretch the cells but there is intact desmosomal contacts. So the polygonal cells are stressed and they appear as star shape and that's why they are called as stellate reticulum cells. Now we'll discuss about the transitory structures we see. So we'll first discuss the lateral lamina. So as the tooth bud grows larger, the developing tooth is tethered to dental lamina by an extension that is called as the lateral lamina. Now the next one is the enamel niches. They are actually the apparent structure in the histological section created because of the seeds of the dental lamina. 
contains the concavity filled with the connective tissues and because of that it lays impression that the tooth germ has a double attachment to the oral epithelium by two separate strands so they are formed by the leucin in the histological section now next is enamel knot this is the organized center of the densely packed cells over the inner enamel epithelium that orchestrates the cuspal morphogenesis that means they are involved in determining the cusp tip initial position they also act as a signaling center and at the same time a vertical extension of the enamel knot forms that is known as the enamel cord and the both the enamel knot and enamel cord they act as a reservoir of the dividing cells for growing enamel organ now when the enamel cord extends to meet the outer enamel epithelium for it would divide the stellate reticulum into two parts and it is called as enamel septum now when the enamel septum meets the outer enamel epithelium at the point of meeting the outer enamel epithelium shows a small depression which resembles the umbilicus that's why it is called as the enamel navel This was the cap stage and we'll discuss the bell stage in my next video so please do subscribe and press the bell icon for the notifications